He managed to bring his family to a safe place in Berlin. Yusuf al muhavda a recognized political refugee, had to flee Bahrain, his home country. His ordeal began when he started to publish footage of violent police actions on the internet. The victims themselves provided him with these amateur videos. Just walking, right there, just... But it didn't take long before he felt chased himself. When I go to meet uh, any victim or any human rights organization, I, I see that there is a civilian's car and civilian people will arrive uh, before I arrived. A victim came to me and he told me that, uh, and he gave me his testimony, and then I saw him later and he told me that I was arrested again and tortured again, and they know that I have told you about that, and they told, told him that we know about, you have told uh, Zaid Youssef about what happened to you in jail, and now we are going to, to torture you again. So that's why it was for me clear that I am monitored. Yusuf doesn't know how the regime did it. Other fellow activists were tapped too. They received males infected with a virus. The trail leads to the company Gamma, based in Munich. It has recently been renamed Finfisher. The company's advertisement promotes all-round surveillance of suspects, a software designed to collect passwords, emails, and data. In short, the whole communication. First class, spy out, made in Germany. Interestingly, regime opponents in Egypt found similar documents from Finn Fischer shortly after the fall of dictator Mubarak. We began to wonder, how legal are these activities? In Germany, companies should apply for export licenses. It is not compulsory, though. But Finn Fischer had not even sought to get hold of such a license. Our request for a statement remains unanswered. Finn Fischer and other German companies sell their products on surveillance technology fairs. We visited one of those equipped with a hidden camera. Germany is one of the market leaders, but now Brussels also wants to have a say. In the future, European companies will be required to hold a license for the export of surveillance technology. This is an first important step. This is an important step which will allow for the control of this type of software and technology for the first time. So far, those companies could offer their software and services worldwide and without restrictions. Germany, for example, delivered their products to Bahrain, Syria, Iran and many other countries. The final decision over licenses lies with the European member states. MEP Marika Schake sees a great risk with this practice. We just want to avoid, in principle, that uh, the authority of one member state does not apply the restrictions as strictly as the other, because then you get uh, the lowest uh, common denominator, you get the point of least resistance where companies can flock to, and because we have a single market, the exports could continue that way. When a company in member state A does not obtain such a license for surveillance technology, it can file its request in another member state, a convenient loophole for companies. This is why Marika Schake pleads for the creation of a European agency which grants those licenses for all member states. This goes too far, according to Germany. The German Minister for Economic Affairs, Sigmar Gabriel, provided only a short answer in writing. The member state authorities implement the necessary controls and stay in contact both with each other and with the European Commission. The German government considers that this procedure has proven its worth. Yusuf al muhavda keeps in touch with fellow activists in Bahrain, mainly via Skype. Their freedom depends on new EU regulation and Germany's willingness to apply it. For others, it's already too late. People are afraid to communicate with, with me or with the human rights organization, so we don't get uh, uh, information, which is very imp information. We wanted to tell the world what's happening, and now we cannot tell the world what's happening because there is a lack of information. More than 40 people get arrested, online activists, because of this uh, technology, and all of them were tortured. There are people are 
activists in Bahrain are suffering because of this technology that being sold by European um, uh, companies. This is from the Holy he shows us the fatwa against him, placed on Twitter by his own government. It's a public call for murder. Which means he should be killed.